All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to develop VR iOS apps in Windows in Unity in 2018. Now, this is something I wanted to do just like randomly, and I was like, this is impossible because I spent five hours trying to figure it out. And so hopefully if you're running into that same problem, which I doubt there's many people out there with the same problem, hopefully um, I can help you with that. So anyway, so I'm going to be going off the description I'll have for this video right now. Just follow the links along with me and you'll be good to go. So first thing you're going to want is iTunes. Just copy and paste that. You know, go to iTunes, download it. It's going to bring you to the Windows Store to download. It's, it's nothing crazy. Um, I shouldn't need a tutorial of that. Then you're going to go to the App Store on your iOS device. Um, you're going to download Unity Remote. Um, it's 5 right now. Version could change in the future. But you're just going to get that. Download that thing. Open up both that and iTunes. And then you're going to plug your phone into your computer. We're going to come back to that later. Don't worry about it. Um, make sure that when you plug your iPhone into the computer that you trust it. And you'll be good to go. So... Now this is where the main bulk of what you're going to be doing is coming from. Um, this Google Cardboard iOS Quick Start Guide. Just take that, copy and paste it. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this different version of Unity. I don't care what version you have right now, just get this version. So this is the long term support version. It's going to be the same basically forever. And they're just every once in a while they'll update it with uh, bug fixes, not like anything major. So. I did the component installer, just click on that, download it, click on it again, install it. Um, when you're installing it, it's going to come up with this uh, component sort of uh, screen. Make sure you have iOS build support checked, otherwise this is all pointless. Next thing you want to need is the Google VR SDK. So you're going to go here, click on the releases page, open that thing up, hit tags. Scroll on the bottom, hit next, and we're trying to find version 1.30. Click on that. Click on this source code zip, and it's going to download whatever downloads folder you have. You're going to extract it and sort of keep that in mind where you extracted it to. So now we're going to roll over to Unity. So we're in Unity. Um, this is where things can get tricky if you need to just pause the video slow it down take it one step at a time but so now we're gonna go make a new project doesn't matter any of the settings just make a new project and then you're gonna go to assets import package custom package you're gonna go to whatever your folder was at I have mine in downloads you're gonna import this Google VR for unity Okay, click on it, it's going to bring up this window, import all that stuff, then you're going to get a folder down here that says Google VR. So open that folder, go down to Legacy, go down to Prefabs, go to GVR Main, drag and drop that over here, and then open this up, open Head Up, and open Main Camera, hold Shift, click. And now you're going to go to clear flags and you're going to hit skybox. I have a little more interesting skybox. If you like that, just go to the asset store, download, just search skybox, download one. And you're just going to drag and drop that in there. And that's how you do skyboxes. So anyways, now that you have that done, you're going to do some coding. So make a new script, name it gyroscope enable. Double click it, open it up in Visual Studio. And I'm going to go back to the video description, get this last link here, paste that. Huge shout out to the guy who made this code and made this all possible basically. Otherwise I would have wasted all my time today. <laughs> so um, there we go. So you're going to take his code and you're going to copy, paste that over here, word for word, boom, save it. And then you're good to go. So the next thing is what I already have up there is this editor device. So once again, Google VR, legacy, and then you're going to go down to scripts this time. Go to internal, go to VR devices and editor device. You're just going to open that thing up. So this is on line 66. Your line could be different. 
you need to just search exactly what this is right here this is the part you're going to be basically taking out so we're, we i just commented it out because it's the easiest way to do it so it's just a forward slash asterisk followed by another asterisk and a back slash there or oh, another forward slash i mean so boom you should be good to go control save if there's any errors pause the video take a look at it make sure you have everything exact as i do so then you're good to go that's all the coding um but before we get ahead of ourselves go to here you're going to create empty just make an empty game object you're going to drag this gyroscope enable onto that game object and boom it'll just pop up there and that is going to enable the gyroscope so you're good to go on everything on this side of unity now we're going to start focusing on actually connecting the headset and making it run so connect your phone to your computer have itunes running have that unity remote running and it trusted just like i said before and then you're going to go to edit project settings uh, editor and change device from none to any ios device and you're good to go there so now you should have a default of a um, windows project so you're going to go to file build settings click on ios click on switch platform it's going to take a little bit after you do that click on player settings and then you're going to go down to xr settings click on virtual reality supported check it then click this little plus arrow down here click on cardboard then you're going to go there go to other settings you're going to scroll down until you see target minimum iOS version. You're going to make sure that is at 8.0. And once that is, then you should be good to go on every single section. Then you're just going to hit the play button, cross your fingers a little bit, and look at that. Boom. Working just fine. So that's how you do it, guys. Hopefully I saved you some time, a little bit of effort. <laughs> um, I know I certainly spent a good five hours trying to figure this out. So, anyway, guys, if you have any questions, put it in the comment. Um, anything at all, and I'll do my best to help you out. See ya.